Hi everybody, so we have here with us a bunch of Hobonichi Techo and notebooks that I have never um, ended up using. So the Techo is the hardest to um, mentally, I suppose, um, accept. And I will explain to you what I mean, because once the years pass, that's it. You don't know what to do with it. And so I'll put that aside. Pencil boards such as these can always be used anytime you want. You can pull them out of your stash and, you know, um, they may not be the best match for your cover or your techo, but look, they in themselves are pretty cute and you can use them with the appropriate sizes any time of the year. So I'll put that aside. Notebooks. I bought these from Gallo Leather and with uh, my retiring the A5 or the A6 rather, this one here, which has been for five years my memory keeper, I wouldn't call it journal. I am a very verbose journaler and memory keeper and so this is a constant struggle with the space but I've decided, I've put that video up here somewhere, that I was going to do it for five years in conjunction with the five-year tech show so 2020, 21, 22, 23, and 24, and this year is my last year. So I'm retiring that as a planner. Again, I've already discussed this as well. Again, I'll link it up here at the end of this video. Um, as a planner, it was a pretty good one. I was traveling uh, because it requires uh, a lot of, it, it allows for a lot of space for planning for a very full day. But when I'm not traveling, I don't have that full of a day. Most of my planning are monthly and at most weekly, and they move within the month and within the week. Again, I've also spoken about that, why the weekly is the most appropriate, um, the most functional for me at the moment. Again, I'll link it up here and at the end of this video. Mm. So with retiring the A6, um, it's too heavy to travel with. So that's the only other problem. And so weeks is lighter, but weeks is uh, functioning not as well because it's stretch. The days tend to be a lot more uh, intense, a lot more packed up every day. So in terms of happening every day, this is actually the best, but it's kind of heavy compared to the weeks. But I've traveled with the weeks, this one here. The last time I went to Singapore for my medical checkups and to the Tokyo International Pen Show. Again, I'll link up here that pen show and at the end of this video, and it was okay. Mainly, I was saved by the notes here. So if I have a lot of things happening in five days here, all the notes related to the happenings in five days, I put on this side and I was able to cope. And any other notes is uh, placed at the back here. So um, basically, the journal is the one that is homeless at the moment. And so I've unboxed this. Um, I'll have that video somewhere on my channel if you want to watch. And I've also bought this. Um, so this is the other one. I don't have to buy any more notebooks. Um, this is, I might give it away. I mean, if you're going to keep a notebook, like memory keeping, you want it nice. So I have this from Gallon Leather as well, which I bought. I can't remember when. I think I may have more than one. And then, of course, these ones. Uh, again, I can't remember when this was. I think it might be 2022, 23. And this is uh, stitch bound, so it's not glue. So that's more. So one, two, three, four, five, at least. Uh, I might give this away for memory keeping. So, and these two, I might give away as well, because for memory keeping, this is way too small. So I will um, put that aside. Now, these weeks. So this, I was, I gave this to my husband for uh, Christmas 2022, and he didn't even open it. The reason why I like this particular Thai material that is... Um, one Piece. I'm not even familiar with One Piece, but my nephew really likes One Piece. But I just go by the visual design. I like how chunky there's all this. The bird are pretty, you know, a lot of the Thai designs are usually pretty small patterns. And I'm not very into small patterns on a surface. I like them big and chunky. And the, the, um, I like how, uh, same with this, you see how it's pretty obvious what those are. You could see it from afar, this little images, 
They don't look just like random patterns. I gave it to my husband and I gave him a 2022. This is 2023. So this is last year. I gave him something for 2022 and he struggled to fill it. He struggled to use it. It is a whole um, way of uh, arranging your time that he's not used to. So you see what I mean? It's very... so. But I absolutely love this. And my struggle now is what do I do with them now? So that's for 23. Um, and if you notice, I think there's one particular year that's for 21 that I didn't get to use. So I bought this in 2020. This one here is a Moomin, I think. And yeah, it is a Moomin. I don't know why I bought this. And this is for, I think because it's a Moomin. And I just wanted a Moomin. And so this was my first ever Moomin. But I never got to use it because I, by then, I have other uh, Tencho weeks. I think I bought this uh, after the year has passed. twenty. So it was pretty cheap. This one, on the other hand, I did buy this in 2020. I'm from Hobonichi directly. So that's 2021. This one, um, if you remember, this was the Apple. I, again, do not know the story, but people with uh, children uh, seem to know the very hungry caterpillar. I just like the visual, the graphic, the aesthetic. My favorite weeks is the sort that has this canvas covering that's my favorite my least favorite is the uh, glossy cover but i've found myself ordering um twice this one for 2023 um and for 2025 this glossy because this glossy type of cover because i wanted the design this one moomin moomin is always glossy and the incoming one is the um illustration by a japanese illustrator with um, I'll, I'll put it down below, I can't remember the name, but it's with two people sort of bowing to each other. It's really col colorful. The color really pops. So this is completely untouched. So this is for 2022. <clears throat> and this is for 2023. Again, um, for 23, I had these two uh, going at the same time. And... I just wanted to use the moment because it's pretty cute. And even this is hardly touched. So <clears throat> I have the most in 2023. One, two, three. I have one spare and then I bought this late in 2021 just because I wanted to have this particular moment. It looks quite different from all the moments that come after that. This is not the most colorful. I like intensity. But, you know, to buy a um, woman on eBay afterwards, I thought it would have been cheaper, but some people look at it as a collection maybe. I don't know, but they're really expensive. They're like 100 to $200. I'm, I'm not about to, you know, I, I mean, I collect all sorts of things, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about collecting something that's supposed to be functional. So <clears throat> that's a whole discussion we can have in a different video. But 23... So for 21, um, if you remember, I tried to do multiple weeks and it's not, it kind of have its uses, but it wasn't working for me. The only time that it was um, useful was I when I caught myself um, with my blood pressure persistently high. That's when I caught myself. That's when I realized that one medicine fall off the cracks and I wasn't prescribed one medicine that they were supposed to prescribe. I can't remember what happened there. It was shocking. And the other one was the um, cat log again. There's there's a whole lot of videos there. I'll link it up here or you can search it. Uh, my cat is undergoing a very strict diet, which we failed miserably before we moved to this place. This is not our place. This is long story. My mom became really ill in 2022. And there's a three-way moves between my mom, myself, and our husbands, and that completely uh, threw off all of the routines that my husband and I have built throughout the years. And one of them for me is this whole journaling, filming and all that. And so there's a big pause on this channel, if you notice. So in 2023, um, I tried to do multiple and it was cat, myself, this one here, and the blood pressure. I think that was 2022, was it? 
or maybe that was 21. I can't remember. But that was kind of, I didn't like it. I did not like, and I have spoken about it. I really didn't like multiple. I could see in principle it could work, but it just doesn't work for me. And so I am now giving the cousin a try one more time now that I no longer use the A6. Um, but I am still holding on to the A to the weeks for 2025. I'm going to see if I can plan everything in 2025 on a cousin, on a big A6. The reason being that most of the times I find myself leaving this behind. Um, so I use this cover. I'm going to talk about why this cover and this cover and why I remember, if you remember, I was going to tell you why this is not very good and this is good. So make sure you click the notification bell if you want to be alerted to that upload. So... <clears throat> I hardly use this, so this is just sitting here. Sometimes it's in my bag. Oh, you could see the coloring is. Sometimes it's in my bag. Sometimes it's just at home because without, with digitization, I no longer carry my wallet and I no longer carry this. I do not like a digital planning, but I have been squeezed into it. And as I've been squeezed into digital planning, I find myself trying to offload weight from my bag. And of course, the planner got ditched so it means that most of the times my planning as uncomfortably as it is is digitally and so this got left behind so now i'm thinking if i'm going to leave behind a planner at home then i don't have to have it so small i can have it big and thick and so that's what i'm going to do in 2025 but just to show you so this is used but this there's two look at that i mean this was a gift so and this was um supposed to be my working techo and this is supposed to be just collectible like you know leave it and don't fill it and just have all the moments all together uh, as a collection but i didn't kind of didn't really want to do that it's not my kind of collecting so i decided nah i'm gonna use it <clears throat> like with this really lovely um yeah i, I want to i wanted to enjoy it and um, so i did but um as it turns out I hardly take it and I hardly use it anyway. So if you have any ideas, I did think about just using this as a notebook. So just basically just free write it and just ignore all the dates um, and just <clears throat> use it that way. Um, I did think about using it as a um, scribble book, but there's a lot. There's a lot here. I don't need this much scribbles. And so I thought this could contribute to a note taking as well to notebooks just convert this to plain notebook and just ignore the printing mm, i did think about covering this up or removing or changing all the dates to coincide with the new year and then just pretend that that isn't the year but it's difficult because all the years are plastered all over it in a way that you can't really alter i mean it's designed to sit somewhere and you can see all the dates here so that's a bit tricky um in terms of how you're going to, um, you know, in terms of record keeping, that can be a bit confusing if you see here 2021 and then you open the book and it's like 2026 or something. So 21, 22, 23. 21, two books. 22, one book. 23, three books. I don't know what to do with them. So, um... I think if you're going to collect the weeks, then just decide to collect. Don't touch it. Keep it pristine. Keep it in a bag and then just leave it there. Um, but if you're going to use it, then uh, decide if you need multiple books. And if you don't, you know. Like I knew I, I, I do not need multiple books. And yet I feel compelled to, to buy them because it's so pretty. And so I think in the back of my mind, like this year... Um, I will buy them because they're pretty and then I'm not going to regret or be conflicted about not using it in the end. Um, the wigs are always the one that is very uh, nicely designed. I think since last year, there's the Hon in all sizes, the A6, like this one. They have this one as well, as well as the wigs. Um, so I am hopeful that it's not just going to be limited to the weeks. Um, and once I could decide whether it is going to be an A6 planning for me because we are no longer carrying this around or whether it's going to be 
um, an A5 or an A6, then at least then we have all these interesting designs available to us as well. But I am looking at the design for 2025, and I think the weeks are still the most nicely done of all the books, of all the techos and of all the horns. So yeah, stay tuned for an unboxing of 2025 that will be coming in two batches. And until then, happy Hobonichi month.